Hi guys, today's videos are going to be very short and sweet. I'm filming both my project pan updates, but I wanted to just super quick get into everything. Um, today I'm going to be doing my pan that face palette video update. Um, and if you aren't aware, I'm painting the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Unlocked from 2018. It came out in like October-ish, but it wasn't their holiday collection. It was just a special extra collection that they did. I really love this palette. I'm going to quickly insert a picture of what it was looking like last month. And here is what it is looking like this month. So as you may be able to see, I've expanded the bronzer a little bit. I've definitely hit like the corner of pan on this other bronzer shade. Not quite the progress I was hoping to see, but I have hit pan like I wanted to. Um, and I don't know if you can see, but right here, this is pan on this highlighter shade. So it turns out I actually had hit pan on the highlighter at the last update. It just um, still looked shiny, so I didn't realize it was pan because um, it's very hard to tell, but basically like there is sparkle still sticking to the waffle um, and it makes it very hard to see. But as I move, you can see kind of this ridge in it. That is waffle. So I've hit pan in the highlighter. I've hit pan in the bronzer. I've hit all of my goals for this past month and I'm so excited about it. Um, I have kind of expanded the pan in this highlighter shade a little bit more and as you can see as I'm picking stuff up with my bronzer uh, picking up these two pans I am getting kind of this top edge of the highlighter which I actually don't mind um, just because it, it's a good opportunity to like use up and the highlighter and make my bronzer a little bit glowier um, and then I don't know if it'll be visible very well but around here and here, there the blush, this blush, mood flush, is getting very low. So um, I haven't quite hit pan yet, but I do think if I continue using this a good amount, I will be able to. Now, with that being said, I actually didn't use mood flush as much as I have been in previous months because I have been dipping into nude glow more, which is so nice. Um, Basically, now that we're getting into summer, I have gotten a little bit of a tan. I feel like Coffee Break with Danny saying that. Um, and in my Pan That Eyeshadow palette video, um, or Pan Those Eyeshadow Palettes video, videos, I'm working on some shadows now that are a little bit more warm. I'm working on this shade called Raw that is more orangey, sunsetty rather than like purpley pink as I've been doing in the past. And so that works well with a little bit of a peachy lipstick as a base and then this blush on top of that lipstick for kind of more of a warm sunsetting look. So I have been dipping into this one more. Now that I've reached that kind of vibe with my makeup, I don't want to like force myself to keep using Mood Flush until it's pan just to like prove a point. I will come back to loving to use this at some point when I start panning more cool tones again. So I'm just going to let myself use them both as I finish up my Huda Beauty New Nude palette. And then when I roll in my new shades for my Lorac Pro palette, which is going to be the next palette in that series, we'll see how my color store is looking and which palette or which blush I want to use more. So because of that, I haven't seen any like progress on nude flush, nude glow, sorry, but I also am excited to kind of dabble in it a little bit more. So for my goals for the upcoming month, I don't want to set a goal for either of the blushes since I'm kind of dipping into both of them right now. Um, I would like to expand the pan. I think my next goal is to be kind of to clear off this half of the highlighter, um, or not even half, but just this upper chunk of the highlighter. And I would like to see more use on both of the bronzers. If I could start getting this bronzer used up completely, the actual bronzer shade, not the powder shade that's too dark for me, that would be A+. plus. So here are my goals. I'm very excited to keep working on this palette. I feel like we're definitely 
going at a pace to where I do have hope that I could use up this palette this year. Um, and I, it definitely, we will get to a point where I have the two blushes and nothing else because I'm using the highlighter, the one singular highlighter at the same rate that I'm using both of the blushes, like combined. So, you know, it will become a blush palette at some point, but I do really love this palette. I love all the shades and I am happy to be moving it out of my collection because I have had it since 2018. So that is everything for this palette today. Thank you so, so much for watching and I hope you're having an amazing day wherever you are. Thanks guys.